Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now we are going to describe about the minimalist reasoning. So, what is the meaning of minimalist reasoning? Okay. So, whenever we are having some uh, things, the useful class of the things that are becoming true, so we focus on that. Okay. So, normally on the true things only we will focus. So, very specific and highly useful class things that are normally true. So normally uh, this particular model what we are focusing on the true values that is based on the minimal model that means the some set of the true values very small amount of the true values okay so we will define a model to be minimal if there are no other models in which fewer things are true so in that particular model only we are having some set of the things are to be true no other model can participate in that uh, in that uh, having the true values that particular group of true values is called as the minimal model and the reasoning for that we are using is called as minimalist reasoning so what is minimalist reasoning okay so what is the main idea behind the minimalist reasoning the main idea behind using this kind of the minimal models is a basis for non monotonic reasoning about the following so normally we use this particular minimalist reasoning for non monotonic uh, reasoning so why because uh, we are having very few statements as true than the false statements uh, so if something is true and relevant it makes sense to assume that it has been entered into the knowledge base whenever a statement is considered as the true statement that we will enter into the knowledge base so only true statements are necessarily must be true in order to maintain the consistency in the knowledge base what we put we put only the true statements which are normally the true so these statements are those necessarily must be true in order to maintain the consistency to maintain the consistency normally we use this kind of the true values only okay so there are two kinds of minimalist reasoning uh, those are closed world assumption circumscription number one it is closed world assumption number two it is circumscription so what is closed world assumption okay now we are going to see this type of assumption is useful for the application where most of the facts are true in it and the reasonable to assume if the proportion cannot be proven it is false so which one is true only that is also we are that is only we are focusing and we are not uh, talking about the any other kind of the out of the box or out of the models so it is also known as the closed world assumption okay so this is also known as closed world assumption with failure as negation this means that in the kb if we have one literal a is not probable we can say that is uh, negation we can say p of a is not probable so p of a is false so negation p becomes true like that we can hold okay so closed world assumption says that only objects that satisfy the predicates uh, any uh, satisfy any predicate are the those that must so the objects that satisfy for any predicate which gives the true value that only can be entered into the database best for database but sometime fails with knowledge base so what are the examples for this is best for database but sometime fails with knowledge base this kind of the true values better for uh, database we can enter but sometimes it's not good for knowledge base company employees database airline example are some examples of this closed world assumption so what are the other kind of the examples of this closed world assumption just we are going to see okay consider the following class let us see the bird of x and abnormal of x can fly of x so normally the bird of x is not a not an abnormal one so parrot is not an abnormal one so it can fly suppose we want to derive fly parrot is true okay so the closed word assumption of the following classes bird of x and not abnormal of x to fly of x bird of parrot so not abnormal is obviously parrot so infers the fly of the parrot in the similar way a of joe or b of joe a of joe or b of joe negation a of joe and negation b of joe okay a of joe or b of joe that can be either negation b a of joe or negation b of joe so like such kind of the statements can comes under the true uh, true statements uh, can comes under the closed world assumption okay so it is simple and powerful and can fail to produce the appropriate answer for either two reasons sometimes it may fail because of the two reasons so what are the two reasons the assumptions are not always true in the world some parts of the world are not restrictively closable unrelevant uh, unre unrevealed facts in murder case the assumptions are not always true in the world 
Some parts of the world are not realistically closable, and it is purely syntactic reasoning process. Syntactic reasoning thus. The result depend on the form of the assertions that are provided. Consider a of two or b of two. In such kind of the situations, the closed world assumption is not uh, appropriate. It cannot produce the good results. Okay. So, what are the two advantages of this closed world assumption? So, it works on the whole formulas, but not on the individual predicates. It allows some predicates to be marked as marked as closed and others as open. So it can accomplish by adding some set of the axioms and force a minimal interpretation on selection portion of the query. Some minimal collection of the true values it is focusing by adding some set of axioms and uh, that can be uploaded into the knowledge base. So these two are the advantages of the closed world assumption. Okay. Uh, next we are going to talk about the circumscription. So what is the circumscription actually? It is a rule of conjecture. Conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. So conjecture is nothing but the conclusion that can form basis on the incomplete information. To jump to, to jump to the conclusion that allows you to jump to the conclusion that the object you can show that possesses certain property, or in fact all the objects possess property. So we can make the conclusion that only one single object can show can have the certain property, or the fact all the objects. Uh, that possesses that particular property object you can show that possesses a certain property p and all the facts in and in fact are in fact all the objects that possess the property so they can have all the objects can have the same property it is also cope with default reasoning circumscription also works with default reasoning and several theories of circumscription have been proposed to deal with the problems of closed world assumption so circumscription together with first order logic allows a form of non monotonic reasoning so it includes one part, one kind of the non monotonic reasoning okay so birds can fly let us say take the example in circumscription this phrase can be stated as a bird fly it, it is not abnormal so bird of pt for all x penguin of x to bird of x penguin of x to negation of fly so we can conclude that the abnormal is, is true it cannot fly the abnormal is false it can fly okay so the one and one more example regarding the circumscription that we will see suppose the child knows only two kinds of the birds those are parrot and sparrow formally we can write this as bird of parrot or bird of sparrow for all x bird of x to bird of parrot or bird of sparrow for all x bird of x x is equal to parrot or x is equal to sparrow predicate expression okay bird of x or bird of sparrow for all x bird of x to bird of parrot or bird of sparrow for all x bird of x to x is equal to parrot or x is equal to sparrow okay so this is nothing but the circumscription and closed world assumption in the minimalist reasoning okay so this is nothing but the minimalist reasoning